Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Mike Fasano, Florida State Senate. I want to thank you so very much for allowing me the opportunity to enter the name of Nancy Riley for Vice Chairman of the Republican Party of Florida. I've had the privilege and the honor of knowing Nancy for many, many years. In fact, uh, she's active in her faith, she's active in her community, and ladies and gentlemen, she's active in her profession. She was, in fact, uh, the president of the Florida Realtors Association not long ago, where she oversaw a budget of several million dollars. She's a true leader. Uh, she is extremely active in the Republican Party, not only in her home area, but throughout the state and nation. Of course, she's the state committee woman from Pinellas County. She was the congressional chairman for the Pinellas delegation, and so has so many other uh, attributes to add to her as being a great Republican and a great leader. I would ask you for your support, and Mr. Chairman, with your permission, I'd like to enter the name of Nancy Riley for Vice Chairman of the, of the Vice Chairman of the Republican Party of Florida. Thank you so very Thank much. You, sir. Thank you.
Three more things I want you to share with you. First, in 2004, I was treasurer of Florida Realtors. We had a $17 million budget. That year, let us say, we had to make a change in our executive vice president and our chief financial officer. I literally had to sign every check, reconcile the bills, help train a new CFO, and oversee a forensic audit. I know what that entails. Second, this is not us against them. Without our elected officials, why do we exist? Without the RPOF, what do our elected officials stand for, and how do they get elected? This is a partnership. We are one and the same. Certainly we will not always agree with everyone, but in this partnership, here's what I do believe. I believe we argue and debate amongst ourselves. Those of you who have been around here a long time know I'm not shy when it comes to expressing my thoughts. But once a decision has been made, and in this group, the majority rules, we need to speak with a united voice. I believe that with all my heart and all my soul. And lastly, I'm running for interim vice chairman. I believe when we leave this room, we need to raise money, help get Republicans elected, celebrate in November, and then have a real election for chairman, vice chairman, secretary, treasurer, and all the other offices that make up the RPOF. If elected today, I will not run then. My allegiance will be to you to bring back the trust between the RPOF leadership and its members. Between now and January, I will concentrate on helping our chairman strengthen conservative values of less government, last Texas, and more personal freedom. I guess I've got to wrap this up, but I just would like to end up saying that I will help our chairman to keep the Florida House and Senate Republican, to elect a Republican senator, to make sure that all of the cabinet in Florida is Republican, and to make sure that Florida does its part to bring back the Republicans to the United States Congress. My name is Nancy Riley, and I ask for your vote as interim vice chairman.